In this video, I'm going to explain the Apply Curve node in detail. I'm using a Perlin Noise node to which I can apply an Apply Curve node like this. At the moment, we can't see any changes, but when I use the brush to draw a curve, the terrain changes completely. The principle of the Apply Curve node is to modify the height of each input vertex according to the curve that I draw. By default, we're in the Manual mode, but we can switch it to the Point mode. In this window, I can choose the number of points that will control my curve. I can also add or remove them later. Now, I can move them with a left click, or I can right click to access the contextual menu to delete them or modify their properties. I can transform the point into a smooth point, or an angle point, which works by the same principle, except that the tangents are independent of one another. And I can left click on the curve to add a new control point. When I move the cursor over the terrain, the height of the vertex under the mouse pointer is displayed on the curve. There are also some additional options like a button to smooth the curve, here, and a button that allows you to reset the curve to the default curve. Let's see the apply curve in action in a more complex graph. I'm starting with the default curve. I voluntarily choose to use very few points to quickly show you the variations that can be obtained. All changes are in real time and the workflow remains seamless. Once the terrain configuration suits me, I can go back to the manual mode to add details. I can switch between manual mode and point mode as many times as I like. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon for the next tutorial.